Well, hey everybody, I guess you're gonna wonder what this mess is all around here. Um, customer brings in an exercise bike called the Marcy ME709 recumbent bike. Let's take a little closer look at what this thing is right here. Marcy recumbent bike here. And let's see, whoa! Need to hold on to that thing a little tighter there, don't I? So this is the ME709 recumbent bike, exercise bike, made in China, of course. And it comes with all this nifty stuff here. Now, I kind of saved you guys the despair of having to deal with all the garbage, but if you look at garbage, recycle garbage, this is all packaging that came out of this box right here with all this stuff in it. Let me get to building this and let's see how it goes together. All right, now after all that other crap, clean up all the garbage, let's see if I can get this thing out safely. Now, people say, oh, just let this thing out. Well, I wouldn't just do that, mostly for safety purposes. So, let me do this instead. Let's tilt that down, and under. Now let's pull it out this direction. Got a bag. It'll start coming out a little bit. Uh, it's way safer than trying to lift it up. And then you can get this up. Man, let me go ahead and put that on the mat here. Pull out the bag. Pretty good looking. I like the color on that. So let's get the rest of it together. Anything else I need out of the box? No, I don't think so. Let's go ahead and just put that away for now and break it down later. Okay, so now we've got two zip ties here holding the cardboard on the main piece here. That's the main base part. That goes into this part right here. Two zip ties there. One, two. Remove that as well. Bam, look at that. And then it says something about in here that you have this piece here. It says remove this part before assembly. And then the instructions it even said the same thing. So, I don't know why, but it has this little block that you need to remove. I think that's just what's holding in the button here. So, let's remove that. So it's a uh, Take this all the way out and then remove this. That's just a metal piece of stock. Um, and it says to throw that away. I like to hold on to metal stuff like this. So, and it is spring loaded. And then you tighten it down to lock it in place, you loosen it up, and you spring it. So, threads in. And then as it pulls, it pulls the pin out. So, it'll go in, pull the pin out. And put the base together first. I can't work on it in stand. Kind of proper stand for this type of thing cap. So, so we want some specific bolts. This packet of nuts and bolts that I got here. This is for the ME. 709. I've cut everything so I can expose it. Now it comes with wrenches and everything else that you need in order to put the thing together. And it has all your nuts and bolts and everything in here. Um, I don't need those because I'm here at a shop. So let's go ahead and finish getting this all squared away. First thing I'm going to do is I want to put this piece in. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this real quick. If you read their instructions, all their instructions actually have numbers for which bolts instead of telling you which bolt it's going to have. So you just look at the packaging, you find that number, you grab those bolts. It's so simple to do this. Anybody can pretty much do this, but of course I'm doing this professionally in a shop so I'm going to have to charge. Alright, so let's get back to what this was right here. I'm going to go ahead and slide this in. Another 
right there. I'll go ahead and tighten that down a little bit. And then I'm going to grab the rear leg, has all the warning labels, and also has these turning things that change thicknesses as you turn them around. So I'm gonna put the thickest part in line with the squares or the holes that are drilled. We're going right into here. And it's gonna go in, they're both square drilled, and those are round drilled, so you know that the carriage bolt's gonna go through that way because it is a silo carriage bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and set that on there. Grab the number 13 carriage bolt, slide one through, and I'm gonna get a little twist so it'll actually hold the threads of this. I'm gonna go through, give this base a little twist, and it'll actually hold that in there for me. Curved number nine washers, those on there, same shape, and then you're gonna go ahead and grab the acorn nuts. Now you're gonna go with the number 19 acorn nut, and I'm just gonna kinda of hand do this, and then once I get my wrench, I'll tighten them both up at the same time. And since my bolts and nuts are over here and that's over there, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the two number 13 bolts, two number nine curved washers, and the last two number 19 acorn nuts. All right, sorry for the bad angle last time, guys. We're gonna go ahead and do the front one here. Now the front one is gonna have wheels. Since all the weight is mostly on the front, that's the wheel section that you wanna do. And since this is gonna be curved at an angle, the front wheels will actually stick out a little bit before this actually um, rolls anywhere so that the bottom right here will actually touch the ground instead of the wheels. So you'll actually lift the back end of that up and then it'll roll it up onto its wheels like that. And then once you put the end back down, it'll roll back down like that and leave the wheels out front. So lift this up, go on there just a little bit, grab my carriage bolt, here we go. Boom. Turn the carriage bolt so it goes into the square hole properly. Go ahead and put on my curved washer and my acorn nut. Same thing with this one. Give it a little lift up and put it right through the hole there. There it goes. Just like that. Now it slides out easy. Curved washer, acorn nut. So let's get a wrench and let's tighten this thing up. All right, to tighten these things up, got my 13 millimeter wrench. I'm going to go around and I'm going to kind of snug them all up. I'm going to lift up a little bit on this to make sure that all the material itself is lined up nicely with the holes. I'm not going to completely tighten everything down too much yet. So I'm going to go around that side and do the same thing on that side. This up a little bit, up from the bottom. On this side again. Okay, that feels pretty good. Make sure that I'm getting a good amount of torque. That one. And then there's that one. And I'm just going until it kind of feels like it's going to stop. Okay, now the next thing they want you to do, you've got a little wire connection that you've got to connect. And then you've got another piece that you need to put this on. Look at the instructions. It shows you exactly how to put it underneath there. And then clip in the wire. So first what they want you to do, or what I'm going to do, uh, is I'm going to clip this in first. Make sure it's on the right side. Yep, clip. I'm going to take this piece here, put it underneath, put this on my lap. It's going to hold onto it. It goes underneath like this. Boom, there we go. Now what you have is you have a little wire hook that comes around from this that's holding onto the cable that's going down against the resistance inside of here. And it comes around to a little loop and then there's a little hook on it. So you have to get the cable behind that and get the end of this cable that's connected to your adjustment knob onto that cable. And then you have to get the end of the housing that you see right here onto that piece. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up on this and pull some of this cable out like that. Put that back down. Boom. Now this whole thing should be together. You should have the housing into this hook, the cable going into this piece that's hooked up to that cable right there. Go ahead and put that in there. Go this direction. And we're gonna make sure that the wires themselves are not gonna get tangled up at all with that system. There we go. Cool. Got that in there. So let's, let me get the right bolts and put them in there. Put these bolts in real quick. Your number eight Allen head short bolts and your number nine curved washers. Now the this part itself is threaded. Two threads there. One thread there, one thread there, and then the top part is just slides right over that. You just kind of make sure you hand thread that in there. 
And uh, before I do that, I'm going to grab some grease because he's going to sweat all over this. So I'm going to make sure that I grease the whole thing. So pull that back out real quick. Just a little dab of grease. A dab will do you. Now, it takes a five millimeter Allen wrench. I have a Y Allen, and I have my Bondus tipped uh, snap-on Allens here. So I'm gonna kind of get these all kind of snugged up. I do the two side ones first, and then I'll do the front ones, or the back ones, whichever ones you want to call them. So I'm just kind of snugging those up. Let's see on here, I can't use that. So this one, I can use that there. I'm gonna have to use this one over here. So I'm gonna make sure I really snug them up good. all snug let's move on to the next step hey guys there's something real important I forgot to show you if you notice I got this thing sitting up right there and I've got this in my hand what is there's a little support foot it goes right here and I forgot to put that in so please please make sure that your support foot for the middle support is in now on to the next portion of this build here um, and the instructions it kind of looks like they want you to put this piece in the frame first and then bolt everything up to it. Well, I like to kind of bolt everything onto it while I can have it like this and have it all that nice and upside down so I can see what I'm doing here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the bolts ready. There's four of them. The number eight Allen head bolt. And then you have your number 27 washers. If I can get them out of the packaging here. I'm going to grab four of those bad boys. Four. And then we'll go ahead and Set them in. Now I'm going to put this on my knee, put that up like that just for the moment, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and put the bolts in. This isn't rocking science, people. Boom. Another one. And if the bolts don't line up very well, I have to shake it around a little bit. And come on. So that's a problem with some of these things. So I'm kind of noticing that. These holes are not lining up for me very easily, so I have to kind of hold the seat just in the right spot to get those threads going. There we go. Sorry for the delay in the pictures. The phone was ringing. Let me get this all done. Remember, don't tighten any of them up yet. That's the last thing you want to do is tighten them up. Why handle Ellen? Your little snuggy snug. Use my five millimeter regular Allen wrench to make sure that they're nice and snug. And I go across. Um, some people do not. I do. I go across like this, just like if it was on a regular front of a bike. Oh, girl, the back should be easier, huh? Yep. Got my official helper, my helper dog. So now I'm going to do the back. I mean, it's got four holes. Skin your part up, that part down. I've seen people actually try to do this. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't just doesn't make any sense. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and grab my four bolts, four washers. Let me set a couple of them up. Now I'm going to go ahead and just put one in there. I'm going to thread it in real quickly. And I'm going to put the other one in, over here. There we go. I'm actually holding this thing up with my finger here and I'm holding this back here. It's pretty simple. Do the other two bolts. Those in. And I don't know if you can see that, but I've got it lined up pretty well, so I don't really have to mess around with it too much. Boom, there we go. Take my Y handle and Allen wrench. A little snuggy snug. Grab my standard Allen wrench, make 
sure they're all nice and tight. All right, so let's bolt this to the frame. Now it's going to line up those holes right there, like that. I want to make sure that I get two of these, which is the number 31 hex bolts, two of my washers, and two number 33 nylon lock nuts. Now, according to that, or to their instructions, I'm going to go ahead and just pull that through, and I'm going to push the bolts through, put the nut on the other side. Pull it through. Now this is a number 13 wrench, and I've got a crescent wrench. I'm going to hold the actual bolt from the other side with my fluorescent wrench. I'm going to tighten this down, and then go from there. Let's see what these arms here are going to want to be up like this. There's some pilot holes same kind of holes right here these bolts and the washers are going to go through grab my bolts my nylon lock nuts and this so, on. make sure the bolt goes through and kind of hangs on to it and kind of have to look through it bam there's that one go ahead and put a washer and nut to hold it together Pull forward Go through, through this side, and see it, boom, there it goes. All right, got my crescent wrench, 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench. All right, let's put on the head unit. See, now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of this head unit here. Now, it takes batteries in the back. It takes uh, two AA batteries, which they don't provide for you in the box. Um, and I don't sell them here at the shop. I'm gonna, I do, I think, have some hiding somewhere. So when I I'm test this, um, I'll go ahead and put in some batteries. But what you wanna do first, it's got a couple screws. Let me go ahead and pull those things out real quick. Stick them in my mouth. Make sure you don't swallow them. That would be a bad thing. Okay, that way I just don't drop them. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up. Now this has a little button, like a little snap, because it goes down these little slots over the side of this and snaps in place. Um, it does have a little rubber band holding the wire in place there. Um, I'm gonna take it off. So now it only can go on one way. It's got a little clip on the top of this part and it's got a little release button on the top of that one, so really only goes on one way. Stuff this down in here while I'm sliding this on here. Let me get you a little better angle. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in there, and I'm gonna slide this on here. And get that to clip in place there, and then put in the screws in the back. That's how easy, literally how easy this is to put together and put on here. A little snuggy, snuggy, little snuggy, snuggy. Put the batteries in right there. So let's go ahead and put on the pedals and then take it for a little test drive and then put in some batteries. How's that? All right. Okay, something I want to show you guys here L, left, R, right. It actually has a R, a red R sticker on the right, a black L sticker on the left. Now the pedal, this one says R for right, this one says L for left. Also, the straps, this one has an R right there for right. This one's got an L right there for left. So make sure that you put the left on the left strap and the right on the right strap. Your left pedal is always left hand thread, so it's always backwards. It's always going to go that way. So if you take your right hand and you go that way, it's like lefty 
towards the front, that's how it's gonna be tightened on. So let me put these straps on and let me put those on. Well, there's my little screwed up story for the day as I'm putting these straps on and customers walk in the door and I set the stuff down. My dog decided to come over and eat that one. So now, uh, since this is a customer's product, I've gotta call it the company, which I don't even know if I can get parts for this from that company. I'm gonna to have to try to figure out where the hell they come from because the customer brought this bike in or the bought the exercise machine in um, and get them. But anyways, with that said, again, your left pedal's left hand thread. Make sure you put that on left hand thread. Let's see how I'm kind of going backwards here because that should thread that on forward. See? And it's kind of like a choo choo chain, you know? Just going boom, boom, boom. There you go. Do the other side. Comfortable. Well, guys, thank you so much for. Uh, ooh, that has some pretty good resistance on it. Well, that's pretty cool. Little dial. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like what you've seen here today, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll keep on doing weird putting together things. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs>